How about that? There's a Drifters concert. And how about this one? A more on that right here. We were jamming on Long Tall Sally. Yep, there's an old Drifters concert, and I want to welcome everybody, and I give you, and we're live, and let's share a little bit. This is our three-year celebration. Remember this? I was about four weeks into the show three years ago, and I had a big day. Look at this. Here we go. I don't know if you want to call it housekeeping or what, but I want you to know right here is I've got my camera and a the screen. There's another screen over here, another one over there. And so I'm doing some production, and as I do that, you you can understand that. And, and I'm also watching in case I get a message or something or someone beats me on something. Um, Jeffrey's going to be here, and he'll be in the green room here pretty soon. And when he does, the topic is... How about that? Restart. Some of you remember that? How about that? Three years ago. And so, hey, Bruce, good to see you. Welcome. Hi, Marty Moran. And uh, you know that this morning, Jeffrey's going to be here to, to spend some time with us to help celebrate this. Three years of, uh, you know, being together. And... Uh, live here on the uh, Buyers and Sellers Show, and many of you have been part of it. How cool is that? There we go. And uh, I want you now to join me welcoming my good friend, who we've known for many years, the king of sales, Mr. Jeffrey Gittimer. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jay. How you doing, bud? Fantastic. And take a look at this. This this right here was, I was a month into the show, and you probably remember this. Here, watch this. I want you to understand that this, this is, is an opportunity for some of us. It's an opportunity of a lifetime to actually get, get to, to talk, talk directly, directly with, with Jeff, Jeff Gittimer. Gittimer. And, and so uh, we'll talk a little bit. I know he'll have things to say. He'll certainly be addressing this topic. And uh, Jeffrey's in the green room right now. And I want to tell you that I am so proud to, to know him. How about that? How about that, Jeffrey? That was three years ago. Wow. And 
I, I just have to say, everybody that's listening, by the way, uh, Bruce Mills is in the house. Hey, Brucey. And uh, so is uh, Marty Moran. And there's uh, Sharon Hoffmeister, my niece, who w went live for multiple days consecutively and uh, with her business. And, and there'll be more coming in. Everybody jump in and say hi. But Bruce, there we go. Thanks for coming. Anyway, remember this book, everybody. Yep. This was the primer for me. It's, yeah, it's an instruction manual for starting your own podcast, doing your own live show. It's so easy to do. But you have the, the criteria is you got to look good. Like if you look behind me, you see my art or sometimes it's my books, but I try to look intelligent. And if you look intelligent, that means I can't see your bathroom door or your closet or your unmade bed or your reflection or your bad lighting. Yes. And lighting doesn't cost a lot of money now. You can get lighting for a hundred bucks. And, so and everybody here knows uh, that they've been coming along. And if they don't in their first time here, I so we sold our house. I'm in an apartment in between and we're moving to another house. And this is like my temporary digs. But this was, Jeffrey, th this was us three years ago. Look at this. How about that? Wow. Looking good. Yeah, and, looking uh, very intelligent. I had glasses on. What the hell was that? I must have been reading. You, you had those, those cool red glasses. I'm going to pop through here because while yeah. we were there, we were talking about the Insiders Club. And uh, I'm gonna I'm flipping through here because I remember we had some comments. There was a Kevin Fitzgerald was on on board there. One of our friends, Stuart Kimball. A lot of the insiders remember this. Oh yeah. And uh, wow. boy, we we had a crowd, and this was this was beginnings for me on this show. Now that went consecutively every every single Friday morning for. Uh, three years. This is the anniversary. Look at this. Hey, Charles Coachman, welcome. Hi, right, Charles. How you doing? And then let's see. It says three years. Cheers, friends. Good to see you. And then Sean Olger. Sean, welcome. Good to see you. And then Sharon's just saying she went 1,335 consecutive days live for her business until the wow. company she was representing uh, closed. That's crazy. It was. She was. She's just. She's a legend. She did great. And then, you, then I came on board, and you had the nine fifty nine club. Um, remember that? Yeah. During what was that? During the COVID times or everything, you went live every single day. Every single day for about seven hundred and some days. Two, a little more than two years, and it, I closed it the same way I opened it with a bunch of people in the room. Yeah, we were in Charlotte at your yeah. first live after COVID, doing a a, a big. It was the, it was the thirtieth anniversary of my column in the Business Journal, and I had the uh, publisher of the Business Journal there to say, "Hey, crazy, that thirty years crazy. goes by very quickly," because I'm now at thirty five. Yeah, time goes by fast. Uh, Chris Harris, welcome, uh, Chris. Good, to, glad you're here. Good morning. Excellent. Um, Jeffrey, uh, one, one of the things, and, and for people that are on board here watching and listening, uh, this this is my my last buyers and sellers show. I'm celebrating that. I remember when you, when you finished the uh, 959, uh, we were together in Charlotte, and, and this is my three-year anniversary, and this is all the 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 buyers and sellers shows are online archived in my, my YouTube and all these things and, and on my website and tons of topics and great information. It's not my last live ever, but it's the last of this series of programs. And uh, uh, this has been quite a success. Three years consecutively is a good run. I, I think you do a great job. You, you have the ability to, entertain people with an organ, a piano, and you, you know, you're just, you're full of energy. And I think that is a very attractive feature. Um, 
everybody has their thing that they use for attraction. Uh, and in music, it's actually called a hook. And what's, you know, what's, it's the three notes that you remember in the chorus. Do, re, mi? Yep. That's right. And it's and the, flying a stairway to heaven. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yep. The music's always been good and in business. And I've always encouraged people, whatever it is your gift is and what you're good at. When you go to trade shows and other things like that, do it. You know, that's where you're great and people are entertained and enjoy it. Yeah. I, it, um, it's, it, it goes beyond the norm if you're into it, if you really want to make a difference to the audience if you really have something to say that others perceive as valuable and they, they tune in they want to know what's next. They want to see what's now, what's new and what's next, not yeah. what happened 20 years ago in a parking lot. And I, I think that you have to put yourself in the position of making that happen or you, you lose to someone who does. And there's so many podcasts on the air right now. There's so many, live stream shows on the air right now it's very hard to differentiate yourself from other people and i'm coming out with a brand new one a new podcast and i don't want to mention the name yet because we haven't really finalized it but i can tell you this is going to be funny um one of the <laughs> i'm writing a book called from Shit to great because you're not that good based on and i I'm, we're thinking that might be the name of the podcast, but we'll see. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Jeffrey, you have been an inspiration to me and helped me move forward through lots of changes. And we're still friends and we'll continue to be. This is awesome. Um, your new podcast is going to be coming out. And I know everybody's going to see it, but they need to go to. And I want to make sure they know just everything Gittimer is at Gittimer.com. Yeah. Just go Thank there. You. Yep. And uh, and get to know Jeffrey. He's, he's he's approachable. How many books now do you have, and how many millions of sales have, have you experienced over the last seventeen 30 years? books and a lot of sales? How many? How many did you say again? Seventeen books and millions in sales. Yeah, Literally. yeah. yeah. I'm, it's a, it's a blessing, but as a writer, it's like an addiction. Once you're there, you you, it, you don't let go of it no matter what. And I, I think that when a reader responds, when they read down to the last page and they reach out as a result of it, that's an indicator that you've made an impact. And that's all I try to do. I want to leave something impactful to that reader. Yeah. And you've impacted a lot of people. And many of those are on the show today. There's Big Tom Bogoski. He says, look at those two handsome men, two great yeah. business minds as well. Great to see both of you. It's in, it's winter where he is, isn't it? I guess. Like, where are I'm you? in Charlotte. It's, today is a freezing cold day. It's got to be like 50. So <laughs> that's freezing in Charlotte. Oh, my oh, gosh. It's crazy, right? It is. It's crazy. Now, it's, it's around 40 degrees here in Indianapolis. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's 55. The high today will be 66. Oh, my gosh. Well, I love Charlotte. The, I, I've i had the opportunity here to spend time with you in Charlotte. And and when, when I talk about uh, Gittimer, here's one reason. I'm going to show you something that you'll remember here, Jeffrey. Take take a look at this. This goes, this is three, two or three years ago at least. Positive. Yeah, you don't have a revenue problem. You have a don't know how to sell problem. I agree. I totally agree. That is a great line, Skinner. I mean, it is a. I sent it to one of my customers yesterday. It absolutely loved it. Yeah, this is good. I'm sending it to myself. I'm giving two seminars this week. It will be credited to you in both seminars. So if somebody calls and says, somebody said this, it was me. That's a, that's a statement that is, it goes to the, the real world, not we have a revenue problem. Like, dude, how politically correct can you try to be? How much bullshit do you try to sling before somebody goes, eh, bullshit meter? 
Yep. And I have lived my whole life by bullshit media because I grew up in New Jersey. Um, and I was just in New York this past couple of weeks from, uh, I'm involved with the Napoleon Hill Institute, which is the new offshoot of the Napoleon Hill Foundation, but it's for profit. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in Weehawken, New Jersey, which is Jersey City, Hoboken, Weehawken. And if you're going north on the, on the turnpike. Mm -hmm. and But it's right on the river. I mean, literally... My hotel was less than 50 feet from the river. Looking across at Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah. And so I can see the whole skyline, unobstructed yeah. whole skyline. And they have a boat, a ferry boat that goes from Weehawken to 34th Street. And I could see out of my window, I could see the boat coming across the river, jump in the elevator, buy my ticket online and literally walk onto the boat as it's docking at the at the station. And in five minutes, I'm in New York for eight bucks. Oh, how fun. Senior nice. disco, I should say. <laughs> Let's see. We got some other comments here. This is fun. Uh, Tom, there we go. And there's a, Marty Moran says, I hope one day I have 17 books written. Right now, I'm working on my second one. Good job, Jeffrey. Thank you. There we go. And let's see. Tom's got, he says, 50 degrees here in Haymarket, Virginia, okay. but I'm uh, within sniffing distance of D.C., so always ton of bullshit. <laughs> bullshit in here. There you go. There you go. Anyway, Jeffrey, as we move towards the end of this show, it's always a quick one. People don't have time to spend a billion minutes and hours on a, on a podcast. And they want to take home something valuable. And having you here on this anniversary celebration show, I would like you to share with the people your thoughts about what's relevant today, what's important today, and just your advice. Give it a couple minutes. I would love to hear from you. Cool. Um, everybody's talking about AI, artificial intelligence. I have my own AI, actual intelligence. And if you decide you're going to get a message from AI, whatever chat it is that you're involved with, there's there's 1,500 AI platforms right now, and they'll soon be 10,000. So you can there's a, a plethora of places where you can get information, but you can't simply send it directly the way you receive it. You have to customize it. You have to make it for the customer, and when they get that they'll realize it's it's for them. Chat, something may help you write it, but you have to customize it for the customer. If you got that, you have the beginning of the process. Other than that, what we're doing right now is the essence of what you're supposed to do, go live. And you can go with your friends, but it's even better to go with your customers and your prospects because they they know you. And they'll they'll hang with thanks. They'll hang with you. And when you can get a CEO on, when you can get a customer on, they're gonna tell other people, hey, I'm on this podcast, you gotta watch. And that's what grows your listener base. Yes. So be aware of AI and be aware of the the new form of, of broadcasting, and and you're fine. Because everything else is the same way it was hundred years ago, except for Google. Yes. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. It's been yeah. great. We're going to do this some more. Uh, I don't know what the title is going to be, but in the meantime, everyone that's watching, please jump on uh, the uh, jskinner.com. That's me right there. That's www.thejskinner.com. Jeffrey helped me name that too. Jeffrey, you've been very impactful to me and will continue pleasure. to be. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, man. We'll see you later. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me. You as well. You take care of yourself. Congrats on three years. Start the new one. Will do. Bye now. Start the new one. Okay. Going to. How about that? And we're still live. And I want to thank everyone for supporting the show all this time. And I want to also say that uh, there's a new one coming. In the meantime, go to my website, find my playlist, check out the topics. It's all valuable. And everyone, have a great day. 
So happy you came. See you next time. Bye now.